At the end of the night for most high school concession stands, someone takes home a small lockbox with, you know, just a little bit just of a little profit. bit of cash, just yeah. a little bit. But at <laughs> Athens High School in Troy, the operation they've built on game nights has become a real big revenue stream. And as Jason Colthorpe found out, it's paying off the entire athletic department. A full Friday night. The sound of the band. The roar of the crowd as the football team takes the field. But it's not the touchdowns that get all the attention at Troy's Athens High School. It's the good smells coming from near the concession stand. But this big time seven grill operation begins two to three hours before kickoff. Jason's been here since, uh, what, four o'clock? Four o'clock, setting all this stuff up for everything, and then we close down about, we're, we're out of here by 10, 10.30. That's a real shift. Yeah, so, oh yeah, no, it's like a work day. Sure, they have the usuals, popcorn, hot dogs, pizza, but oh, there's so much more. This stuff's all cooked fresh right here, right now, and uh, I mean, it's almost made to order, so we do take specials, we make um, specialties, we do Italian sausage, we've got nachos, we got pretzels, we got everything here. We have people who sometimes don't even come to the game. They just come up here and get concessions and then leave and take a takeout. In addition to the grill team is the rest of the army of volunteer parents led by Ann Hallberg and Marty Steiner. And we have 20 volunteers inside the stand working tonight and 20 volunteers on the grills working tonight. So a team of 40 people to make this happen tonight. And this isn't even our biggest game. Our biggest game is next Friday. Oh, they're good. And they run this operation like a five-star restaurant. So the pulled pork sandwich, the Bobby D, and the Philly cheesecake green ticket. And it pays off too. And not with a check for a few hundred bucks to the school, but tens of thousands of dollars that go for first-class amenities to the athletic department. Baseball pitching machine, softball pitching machine, football end zone camera, golf um, range finders, and simulators. Anything the team needs, we are fortunate to be able to fund those needs that don't come from the district. As parents slash cooks, is it almost a sense of pride doing this? Yes, it is. It truly is. It, you know, the kids are like, my, I don't know, my son goes, Oh, my dad's on the grill team. Like, he's got, like, some sort of stature. <laughs> Not a bad like, way to spend a Friday night, dinner, at a football game. Go, 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 go. In Troy, Jason Colthorpe, Local 4. I'm right. so hungry right now. <laughs> All right, so by the way, homecoming, they did $10,000 in sales, and the things they're able to buy for their athletics really are mind-boggling. As you saw, they're added to the list, hydrotherapy tubs, recovery machines for the players, running the tens of thousands of dollars as well. So when coaches ask, they say, how many would you like? By the way, tonight's game is the big rivalry game against Troy High, so the Lions are going to be long. The Philly cheesesteaks are going to be even better. <laughs>